and we're back it's been it's been a minute since i uploaded i i literally yesterday i finished recording my persona uh five royal video and i was like all right i need to record this thing around the video because now that somebody's dead i'm like intrigued i'm i'm wondering who killed him bro i'm gonna be honest but yeah i'm thinking of actually recording or like streaming the uh not the trial but like the arcs in uh persona 5 so that means we can we can finish like the games quickly because they they freaking announced the uh what is it called the persona 3 remake and i'm hyped for it um but anyways in the last episode biakia i knew i knew he was gonna die the moment he was like you know, maybe in a maybe after a while, maybe I might tell you something. But damn, he he went out pretty sad, bro. The lights went out, and then he's he's dead now. So we gotta we gotta find out who killed him. On on my mama, we're gonna find out who took out Togami, bro. For real, cause uh, out of all the characters, they took him out first. All right. Oh, Hellhound Earring, answer my call. Oh yeah, cause he lost his earring. And that, that that's just kind of random. It might, it might have something to do with this case though. You never know, for real. Impossible. Is this effort futile as well? Hey, are you still looking for the earring you dropped? You! It is not a mere earring. It is the Hellhound Earring. I love Gundam, bro. He's so cool. Fine. Long ago in a faraway land, a beast known as the Hellhound was feared by all, even by he who summoned it. Oh, this is certainly random. Oh god, Hajime just a bystander to this. The Hellhound tore its way through innumerable battlefields, its fangs glistening with blood. And his drenched blood, red fur, would dry in the howling winds of loneliness. Bro, Gundam is definitely a Playboy Cardi fan. No, he definitely into like Destroy Lonely or something like that, bro. For real. That's the type of shit he been listening to. When I finally tamed that diabolic beast, I received an earring to commemorate that event. Shiver! The Hellhound Earring. So I may never forget the night I battled that fearsome po po Pomeranian. I wear that earring at all times. Was that really about a freaking Pomeranian? I understand it's important to you, but for now we need to investigate. I won't let you! Where is it? Where did it disappear to? Maybe it fell underneath the floor? The carpet didn't cover the whole floor. It might have fallen through the gas between the exposed floorboards. Why do I, why do I feel like that's going to have something to do with the case? Like, that's how the... The culprit got away. They they for real slipped through the the cracks, or they looked for an opening or something. <laughs> Damn! So that's what transpired. Such a clever little bobble. Gundam laughed uproariously as he walked toward the wall and pressed his head against the gaps in the floor, and peered beneath the floorboards. I can see it. Ah, uh, there it is. I found it truly. That is the Hellhound earring. <laughs> It seems God exists for my benefit. I see. Good for you. Let me ask. However, how do I recover? Can I fit my arm through this opening? Where were I to use a tool, it would probably not reach either. Then maybe you should just give up. Damn. What? Give up what? The world? I meant give up the earring. You! Fool, have you not yet realized? The world would come to an end if the human race were to lose that earring. You humans are so satisfied with clothing yourselves in layers of fate, false knowledge. If you flinch, you will die! But even with all those layers, you still will not survive the winter. Why am I being scolded? Fine. It's foolish of me to rely on you fools. Fine, I shall, d shall do something about it on my own. Now if you'll excuse me, I must go save the world. He wants that earring back by any means necessary. His determination is truly inspiring. But it'd be nice if he actually helped me with the investigation. Oh, gaps and floorboard has been added to the truthful section of your handbook. I love, I love the, the, the action. Alright, let's look at this. 
the derelium case. Uh, this is the metal case we actually had with him. I believe he said it was made of derelium or derelium. The last time I saw it, it was closed, but there are a lot of odd things inside this case, like a nightstick and pepper spray. <laughs> Who the hell had pepper spray on them? Hmm, what's this? Hard plastic case, but it's just a case. The inside is empty. I wonder what was inside. It's probably those night vision goggles that we saw. But the one thing that really catches my attention is this small key. It must be the key to the other derailium case. The other case was in the office, and all the collected dangerous items were inside of it. If the key to the derailium case is right here, then it's unlikely that the murder weapon used to kill Byakuya was taken from that case. Which means the weapon inside that derailium case aren't related to Byakuya's murder. Even so, I still don't get it. Why did Byakuya have this derailium case in the first place? The case packed with all the security equipment? Maybe he was being extra costly just in case. Nah, because they had, at the at the shop thing, they had, what was it, night vision goggles? I'm pretty sure. I don't know, some type of goggles. I'm pretty sure Byakuya tried and to, like, get out of the room whenever, like, the lights went out. He unlocked the case, grabbed the goggles, and maybe whenever he grabbed the goggles, he got stabbed. But how did, how did they get his body underneath the table without, like, like dragging him through? towards the blood if that makes any sense you know maybe he's trying to be extra costly just in case no that can't be right that's way too overboard <sighs> could he have known something was going to happen beforehand and because of that he went to all this trouble to be extra careful maybe derailium case has been added to the truthful section of your handbook that's crazy how it got done though you know there are a lot of fancy looking party dishes. In the end, nobody really ate that much. I can't imagine these are related to the incident. Maybe this table is. Such a huge table, there's nothing much out of the ordinary. Maybe these dishes. There are a lot of tasty looking party dishes. In the end, nobody really ate that much. Okay. What's a Mahiru? Oh, I said her name right. Oh yeah, she... She freaked out the most out of everybody, bro. She went, no, you heard that scream, bro? For real. Mahito, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What's going on? Is that what you expected me to say? Because I feel terrible. One minute, Byakuya is alive and well, and in an instant, something awful suddenly happens. Of course, I'm not fine. Hi. Not only that, but whoever killed him is one of us, right? That hasn't been determined yet. It's already been determined. You've already accepted it, haven't you? This is the worst. That we have to find out who the killer is, find out which friend killed our friend. I don't like it either, but we won't survive if we don't go go through with it. It's not just for yourself. We have to do it to protect all of us. If I had only acted calmer during the blackout, Byakia might still be alive. This is the worst. This whole thing would have never happened. Stop blaming yourself. Nothing good will come of it. Oh my God. <laughs> Getting cheered up by a boy isn't like me at all. Hold up. Let Hajime cook. Got it. Hey Hajime, forget forget about what I just said. Got it? Yeah, that's fine. I got it. Mm. Anyways, I won't dwell on it for now. Can't become a burden to everyone. On God, weakest link, get taken out, bro. Plus there might still be a clue that only I have access to. A clue. Hey. Photos. The ones I took just before the blackout, remember? <laughs> Oh, true! Hey, Byakuya, everyone, come on, I'm gonna take a picture. Alright, say cheese. Oh, yeah, the pictures. Mm. Wanna see them? I have a digital camera so I can show them to you right now. Really? Please. Um. <laughs> My boy, Hajime. Why he drinking orange juice? Look at Najito in the bag, bro. <laughs> My boy. I know you ain't the killer, bro. For real. Najito would never kill anybody. Oh yeah, Nikamoto needed to take a shit. A massive shit. Hmm. Okay, I see you, Gundam. Looking, looking cool as hell. Byakuya is also, also against the wall with Najito, so couldn't be either one of them. Well, Byakuya is dead. Man, 
Look at freaking Kazuichi. He is not trying to Rizzo Sonia. For real, bro. Get him out of here. I took these two photos right before the blackout, but... No? Huh? Something wrong? Hmm. I didn't realize it until now, bro. Right before the blackout, Vyakia was... Standing in a totally different place than where we found him. Nah, bro. They, they, they got his ass. For real. Wasn't his body under that table with the lamp on top of it? The one underneath the monitor. Okay, so... It could be one of us. It could be me. It could be Najito. It could be Hiyo Hi Hiyoko. Whatever her name is, bro. It could be Ibuki. Or it could be Nekumaru. My bet's on the little kid, bro. Look at her. She's she's looking devil-ish. Demonic. She would probably kill Byakuya. Prior to that, Byakuya was standing along the wall farthest away from that table. You're right. That's pretty far. How'd they drag him over there? There's something. Everyone's standing position before the blackout might be a huge clue. Hey, can you approximate everybody's standing position from these photos? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It'd be hard to understand from the photos alone, so it might be better for me to plot it out. Hmm. But would that actually provide a clue? I don't know yet, but I feel like it could. Leave it to me. Got it, then leave it to me. That's pretty much the only job I can do anyway. Thank you. Alright, now that that's decided... You better do your best. You better work hard on your investigation too. How much longer are you planning to stand around? Do you understand? What's going on? You gotta find out how Byakia died. Man, she on her ass. It's been like two minutes. Yeah, I know, but... It's good she's all fired up now, but she's totally a different person from them when she was feeling down. Oh god, the way of motivation, for real. What up, Najito? Where are you? Hey, hey Ajime, there's something I want to run by you. Before the blackout, I care, Byaki was in the dining hall with the rest of us, right? Yeah, that's right. Mm. And if Byaki's dead body was discovered after the blackout, then don't you think he died during the blackout? Well, now that you mention what? it, but why was Byaki's body under a table? Even if the killer tried to hide him, it's not like he would have stayed hidden forever. Isn't it confusing? I'm more confused on how they got his ass underneath the table. You're absolutely right. It seems finding out what exactly happened to the black is key to solving the mystery. There's no way I'd know. It was so dark during the blackout, I couldn't see a thing. That's not it. Although seeing was impossible, then there's a possible possibility someone might have heard something. Heard something. Oh yeah, we heard him go, ow. Are, are you talking about her? Who's he talking about? He can't? I, I'm, I must I must investigate my classmate's body. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm the one who has medical knowledge. Oh yeah, cause she's gonna do an autopsy. <laughs> that 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 that's why I need to do it to 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 do it somehow. Before you start, why don't you calm down a bit? <laughs> You're right. I need to calm down first. Uh, I'm I'm careless enough as it is. That's pretty obvious from how you fell earlier. Oh God, bro. I'm not trying to see that fan service, bro. Fan service literally adds like nothing to the plot, bro. Uh, <laughs> I am uh terribly sorry about that for showing you something so unsightly. Yeah, I pretty much skipped through that whole thing, bro. Uh, you made me remember it again. I'm not trying to see that, bro. Okay, I'm skipping through this, bro. I'm skipping through that, bro. On oh God, I am not trying to see that, bruh. P please erase it from your memory. On oh God, bro, I'm about to be like Men in Black. That that freaking uh, like that wand thing or whatever is like. Hold up, wait, click. Memory gone. Even if you ask me, I won't be able to forget it so easily. I'm not trying to see all that, bro. Sorry. I can't stand it. Oh my God, bro. Oh hell no, nah, bro. I know you're gonna be a problem, bro. They're gonna be using you for too much fan service. Oh, yeah, maybe this remote controlled air condition. Hmm, air conditioner. Could it be? Oh, I I, I didn't even mean <sighs> my boy be like, yeah. Anyways, hey, I love you. Why, why can't you act a little more grown up? Oh, someone clicked it. Hmm, what was that sound just now? 
This air conditioner is probably the only machine inside this room. In the air conditioner's remote control, the timer is set to 11.30 p.m. Pretty sure Biakti's time of death was around the same time. If so, that means that mechanical sound before the blackout, it probably came from this air conditioner. My flashes of inspiration aren't as bad as I thought. AC timer has been added to the True Void section of your handbook. Somebody cut the freaking uh, thing. All right, let's go over to my boy. Under this very table, Byaki was fur first. I should investigate the top of the table. Though the only thing at the top of this table that really catches my eye is this desk lamp. It looks like an antique lamp and it seems rather heavy. The power cord was connected to the outlet so it would have been useless during the blackout. Other than that, there's nothing else on that table that really stands out to me, so... <sighs> Now it's not the time for me to flinch. I gotta do it. Or I let a shout as if to encourage myself and quickly look beneath the table. Immediately, I noticed an unexplainable smell. Like rusted iron hanging in the air. He got done so dirty, bruh. And during the stinging pain in the back of my eyes, I slowly shifted my gaze toward Byakuya's body. Byakuya took on me, the ultimate affluent progency. Or pro... Progeny. He was the kind of guy who said a lot of hurtful things, but he tried his best to lead everyone. Well, why did he have to end up like this? The only thing I can do right now. What is that green stuff for Biaki's sake? So uncover the truth behind his death. What is this? And there's something stuck to the back of the table. Is that tape? Is this duct tape? There seems to be paint applied to the non sticky side of the duct tape. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems like a little dolly. Could this be glowing paint? What the hell? How is this used? Yeah, it was night vision goggles. Okay, I was right. Hmm, what is this? Looks like binoculars, but why is there a pair of binoculars underneath the table? Hey. How'd you mean? Those aren't binoculars. And then what are they? Perhaps. Those are probably night vision goggles. Night, night vision goggles? I've seen them at the supermarket on this island. They also stock self-defense kits too. If that's the case, did the killer use these night vision goggles to kill Byakuya during the blackout? Yeah, but why would they leave it with the body? I'm pretty sure he used it, bruh. Night vision goggles has been added to the true bullet section of your handbook. Why is it paint on the knife too? A bloody knife. Is this the weapon that killed Byakuya? Hold on, how did the killer bring this knife to the dining hall in the first place? Yaki had thoroughly patted down everyone and thoroughly inspected every corner of this old building. And all this, all the confiscated... <sighs> I'm tired as hell. Confiscated dangerous items were supposed to be placed in that derailing... Uh, derailing... case. Yeah, it's possible they stole this knife from the case. Or they hid it somewhere hard to find. Also, there's one more thing about this knife that's strange. There's some kind of paint that's been applied to the hilt. And the dim light beneath the table it seems like a little dolly. Cause this be glowing paint. Oh my god, I think I got it. Hold up. Knife has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So the killer, right? They had this knife, right? Okay, okay, I'm gonna try and put together a sequence of events. They had this knife, right? They taped it underneath the table, right? That's why there's glowing paint on it. And they had the glowing paint because they were gonna cut the lights and kill whoever was closest. Actually, not even whoever was closest to the table. Cause if that's the case, it's Najito and Najito didn't die. But what the killer did was they taped the knife underneath there and they put the glowing paint on there so they could see it. They then stabbed Byakuya, killed him. But I don't know how they got his body underneath the table. But that's my theory, like, so far. Anyways, Biakia's body. Body is clapped face down underneath the table. As if he was in the middle of attempting something, it looks like he was. According to the Monokuma file, he was repeatedly stabbed between the throat and abdominal region. Jesus Christ. Repeatedly stabbed. Would one of us really do something so horrible? Oh, okay, so they stabbed him, like... Five times in his abdominal region and like three times in the neck. 
on Akuma file has been added has been updated in your handbook. Check the true votes menu to review it. Damn. They really I can't say I've done enough investigation. Oh, blood thing. Now is not the time to be leveling up. The blood flowing from Viakia's body formed a huge pool underneath the table. That's a lot of blood. There's blood splattered everywhere. Even the inner side of the tablecloth is covered in blood. The blood might have splattered all over the place when he got stabbed. But there don't seem to be any drag marks leading from the blood pool. That is true. Has been added to the true void section of your handbook. I think that's all. I'm sure I'm pretty much investigating what's under the table. Despite the fact that it's just me, I think I'm working pretty hard. Even if it's just a little, I'm sure we're getting close to the truth behind Ryakia's death. Now then, where else should I investigate? Hajime. Ah, uh, Hajime, a moment? What is it, my boy? Hey. When we are finished with the investigation here, would you like to hear what everyone has to say together? If I go by myself, some people might not talk to me out of caution. Well, we've been told that one of us is a killer. Can't be helped if everyone's on edge right now. But, but why me? <laughs> You're easy to talk to and I feel like you have a, a sense similar to mine. We both harbor special feelings toward Hope's Peak Academy, isn't that right? Well, yeah, but fine. If we're going together, let's get on with it. There's no time for idle chit chat. Thanks. I'm glad. It'll be great help. Special feelings, huh? Even so, what he said about us being similar, I don't think I agree. How so, bro? Look at him. He's so cheery. Now then. I guess for now we should search the inside of this old building and listen to what the others have to say. My boy, he's going to support us through this entire game. Not just the dining hall, I think we should consider this whole building the scene of the crime. After all, the blackout that took place at the time would have happened throughout this entire building. Yeah, you're right. Alright. Uh, low key, we should like work backwards. Exactly. Najito just like me, bro. He said, let's work from the back and let's go forward. All right. The storage room is really dusty and dark. Wow. My hands were full cleaning the dining hall, so I couldn't even touch this room. It even has cobwebs. There's no way I could stay in here for a long time. All right. Let's check everything. There's a huge pile of cloth right over the show, dude. Perhaps. Is this a tablecloth? Oh, a tablecloth. Wait, huh? Hold on. There's something on it. Oh. Is this a blood stain? Huh? Yeah, a blood stain. How long was the lights out for? Come here, take a closer what? look. It's too dark. I can't really see that clearly. There's no mistaking it. This clearly is a blood stain. Which means this tablecloth is connected to Byakuya's murder, right? Oh. If that tablecloth has a blood stain on it, then it's a possibility. Seriously, it is a blood stain. Alright. Storage room tablecloth has been added to the true blood section of your handbook. Alright. Let's check everything. There's an awful lot of boxes. We don't have time to go through each and every one of them. Guess I should leave them alone. Yep. A wise decision. Irons? Hmm, are these irons? Look like they were recently turned on, but why are there three irons on this ironing board? Mm -hmm. Just as I thought, your eyes don't miss a thing. When I was looking for Byaki after the blackout, I also found these irons, but when I found them, all three of them were turned on. Turned on? Yep. It'd be bad if another blackout happened, so I turned them off. But doesn't this feel kind of sinister? Sinister? How so? Irons and storage room has been added to the true board section of your handbook. Hajime. Hey Hajime, how much longer are you going to stay in this dark place? You're just wasting your time. Let's move on and investigate other places already, hmm? I get it, you're right. No, I'm investigating everything, blood. You don't get to tell me what to do. Wow. My my hands were full clean in the dining hall, so I couldn't even touch this room. Alright. Is that everything? Besides so the clean table cause the little they even been used yet. I guess there's nothing strange here. Alright, I guess that's everything. Leave here, yup. Yeah, we're working our own way backwards. What a magic show. Hey, let's try talking to everyone is definitely going to help us out. All right All right, let's start working from the Yeah, let's look at the kitchen first before I talk to anybody else. We working our way back for real 
Oh, Teru. Teru is in here. What? What is Teru? Teru up to? J Chinese, Japanese, French, and Italian cuisine. Cuisine. Fish dishes and a big piece of meat on the bone too. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? That meat is so big. Even I was shocked. Pause. Well, guess it's that's a, about it. It's a dish fit for a tropical island. I'd never be able to get meat like this in Aoyama or Azu, uh, Azabu. I'd never be able to get meat like this in my hometown, much less Aoyama and, uh, or Azubu. You already said this. I get it. You don't have to repeat yourself. But it's so big. Where did you get it? <laughs> I asked Nekumaru. Apparently, he killed the cow at the ranch with his bare hands and brought it over. His bare hands? <laughs> That's a little hard to believe, but it doesn't seem completely impossible either. Those hands of his, they look like they specialize in punching things. I wouldn't want to get punched by those hands. Mm -hmm. Seriously, Nekomaru is so wild. He's totally right at home in a country setting. I'm so jealous. My whole time is near. I, okay, we... <laughs> You, you don't need to repeat yourself like three times, bro. This is what my friends feel like when I repeat myself for the 600th time. So wild country things like that, they slip my mind a lot, you know? Man. Well, I guess this meat has gone to waste since the awfulness happened right when the party started. The only ones who ate any of food were Akane and Beko, who took some portions for herself. Eh? Don't say that. After I worked so hard to cook the world's most refined party dishes, only two people actually tasted them. To tell you the truth. Well, it's not like I actually believe it, but if there really is a killer out there, <laughs> I'll probably never be able to forgive that killer. He's scary when he's mad. Okay, what is blood on about? He might have done something for real. What if he like spiked the drinks? Imagine that would be crazy. Of course, it must. Yaki must have confiscated all the dangerous items on the kitchen equipment list. Well, just from reading through this list, it looks like the knife next to Byaki's body didn't come from the kitchen. It appears to have been brought from outside. From outside, then how's the killer get past Byaki's body That's check? That's weird. Strange, isn't it? I mean, he didn't even go easy on the girls when he was performing the pat-downs. That's the case, they probably brought the knife in advance and hid it somewhere. Hey. Still, it's surprising how much equipment this kitchen has. There are iron plates for barbecuing and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. But... This is all stuff that doesn't pertain to the murder, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I agree. Alright, there we go. Kitchen equipment risk has been added to the true boy section of your handbook. Alright, what else? Alright, uh, let's talk to him. That's so, bro. Hey. He bounced up and down like he was so happy to talk to us. Since we've come all this way, let's investigate this area just for the heck of it. There's a chance there might be some sort of clue here. I was gonna talk to the carriages first before I do anything. All right, Teddy, Teddy, where were you at? Hey, were you in the kitchen during the blackout, Teddy, Teddy? Uh. <laughs> that blackout totally startled me. At first, I thought it was just in the kitchen, but when I finally managed to get out of the kitchen, the hallway was pitch black too, and then I heard everybody's voices, so I filmed along the wall and tried to feel my way to the dining hall, but that place was pitch black too. It was like pitch black everywhere. Couldn't you have used that kitchen stove as a light? Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, that's impossible. This gas stove needs a electricity to work, so it has, so it has directly affected by the blackout. Why the hell does a gas stove need electricity? It's a gas stove. You just get a lighter and you light it. I see. Then I guess it's not possible. Since you work with fire in the kitchen, I figured you'd be able to use it as a light source or something. But I guess it's not that easy. Nah, I feel like that's some bullshit because a freaking, a gas, a gas uh, stove just needs a freaking fire, a flame. Literally, uh, I guess I'm pretty much finished investigating the kitchen for now. Not you let's go. You're right. Yeah, sure thing. Yeah, let's get out of here, bro. All right, let's talk to Sonia. Sonia was also pretty shocked. Like she, she didn't say anything like particularly bad, but like she was like Piakia. Like she was scared of her fucking mind. What's up? Um. Um. There's something I want to ask you. Huh? What is it? Um. It is strange. No. It appears that only that only that wall is a different color and material. Why is Perhaps. that? Oh, it's probably a fire door. Fire door? Huh? You've never seen one before? It's a door that shuts to keep fire from spreading by containing it. If that happens, you can run away, right? Wow! I see. It's <laughs> it's like a barrier, just like lining up plastic bottles around the house. That that's only done from 
to keep cats from getting in. What the hell were they talking about? <laughs> you know about keeping cats from getting inside, but you don't know about fire doors? I am ashamed. Truly, I'm culturally ignorant. I'm ashamed of myself. All right, fire door. It's been added to the true bullet section of your handbook. So he could have used that gas stove and had no problem about burning down the whole place, bro. I feel like that's some BS somewhat. Oh yeah, Nekumaru did, bro. I see, I see. Apparently a great man once said investigation should be done on foot. Yes! So that's why I'm also using my feet. I'm just walking around for no particular reason. But there's no reason, then there's no meaning. Oh god, you're gonna be kind of useless during this trial. <laughs> hey Hajime, I just realized something. Could she by any chance know what happened during the blackout? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Are you serious? Eh, how do you know? <laughs> so you did hear us, even though Hajime and I were... I'm talking pretty softly just now. Why were you talking softly, bro? <laughs> Not only do I have perfect face, style, and personality, but I also have perfect ears. I see. If you're hearing it so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout. Hey. When the blackout happened, you could hear everybody's voices throughout the dining hall, right? We couldn't tell, but would you have been able to make out who's who, right? <laughs> just leave it to Ibuki. It'll be easy as fried rice with gravy. Huh? <laughs> La 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 la. I hardly eat it for breakfast. I see. Oh, you mean it'll be easy as pie, except eating fried rice with gravy for breakfast is kind of heavy. <laughs> Any fried rice that isn't fried rice with gravy is so wrong. What the hell? <laughs> Just give us the information. She should make a metaphor with a more common type of fried rice, like egg fried rice or lettuce fried rice. Anyways, can you tell us what you uh, what, what you heard? For real? Leave it to me. I'm gonna take a bite out of you. Yep. If you tell us, I'll let you bite Hanjime later. Whoa! Stop it. What if she takes you seriously? Aww. Let's see. The first person who raised their voice during the blackout was. That's right. It was Miharu. Uh, it's a blackout. Next was Kazuichi's voice, and then the next, the next next voice was hey. mine. I can't see anything! It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! Oh god. <laughs> what a nice remark I made. It's, it's to the point that it has its own new, unique charm. Just continue. <laughs> then there were more voices one after the other. Everyone, calm down! We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! Yeah, you are not calm, ah, bro. Don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? Oh, Byakuya. <laughs> This is... Now, what is he talking about? Ow. Oh, that was Najito who said Ow? Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! Oh, so it wasn't Biyaki, it was Najito. You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Dude, what happened to Najito? Najito got like... <laughs> Biyaki probably ran into him because they were like right next to each other. Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. You did not do nothing, bro. <laughs> All right, use that. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Aren't I awesome? Praise me, praise me. Give me lots of praise. I, I heard you the first time. Seriously, don't get any closer. Hey, Najito, say something now. Hey, did something happen? No, I was just thinking about what Byakuya said during the blackout. What Byakuya hey. said. Why did he say something like that? Rather, why was he able to say that? What the hell was going on here and th this is... What do you mean? Hmm. About that, why don't we discuss it after we've investigated a little a bit more. For now, I can't really say anything for certain. Well, it's not like I really yep. care. Anyways, don't you think Ibuki's account just now is an important clue that will lead us to the truth? <laughs> then praise me, let me bite you. Nah, she a freak. Ouch, why are you really biting me? Ah, oh, hell nah. That's crazy. Buki's account has been added to the true voice section of your handbook. Alright, get out of here, you freak. Alright, toilet. Clatter, clatter. Huh, it's locked. Someone appears to be inside since it's a unisex bathroom. I don't know who's actually in there. Is someone in there? We knocked on the door and tried calling out to whoever was on the other side, but... There's no response. This is going nowhere. I guess we should give up for now and check on it later. Yeah, you're right. No, it's because it's, cause it's not working, bro. Office? Oh, we can go into this room. I never went into this room. Oh, the other crate is in here. Hajime. 
The old building circuit breaker sh should be inside the office. Circuit breaker, huh? It might be related to the blackout. So it's better if we check out the circuit breaker first. Where's the circuit breaker? AC. Oh, look at you. I found you. Uh, I've been found. W. We found him. Anyways. Where's the... Oh. Why is it up there? You gotta get a whole step ladder to turn that crap off. That must be this old building circuit breaker. The blackout probably happened because of this. I see. <laughs> it doesn't look like some someone did anything to it. Nothing else looks suspicious either. The circuit breaker is pretty high up. Even if you use a step ladder, you won't reach it. Hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. Well, during the blackout, I was panicking so bad I forgot about that. But you're right. Even with a step ladder, there's no way you'd be able to reach that circuit breaker. Which means someone must have reached out the breaker after the blackout. But who? I did it. Whoa! It's here. Actually, you just had no idea what to do about the blackout. So I'm the one who reset the circuit breaker. Of course. Why am I not surprised? By the way, I'm not the one who tripped the breaker. The killer did that, of course. But how did someone that small as you reset the breaker? Hey, um. Well, firstly, my eyes work real good at night, so I have no trouble seeing in the dark. And if you want to know how I reached the circuit breaker. <laughs> My body stretches. Oh, that's kind of cursed. What the hell? You know, I'm very elastic. I won't be fooled. Liar. It's true. I'm serious. Want to see? Want to see a version of Monokuma with his body all stretched out? It's gross. It's grotesque. <laughs> no, no thanks. Just imagine, imagining it makes me want to puke. He just like me. Oh, really? Such a shame. So cool. Still, don't you think Monokuma is such a nice guy? And my popularity contest, you take first place. I see. What the hell? So he's the one who reset the breaker. Well, in that case, I'm convinced there's no way we'd be able to reach that. If that's the case, how did the killer trip the circuit breaker? I think it has something to do with the AC, bro. They didn't trip it or set set it to be tripped. Let's check the AC in here. All right. I guess we're talking to Peko now. Can already tell you doubt me, correct? Huh? However, it does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred, and during that time, Biaki was killed. Anyway. The circuit breaker is in this office. Naturally, I look suspicious since I was supposed to be here. Wait! Supposed to be here? Does that mean... I see. So it was, right? You weren't in the office. But why? Weren't you supposed to guard the circuit breaker in the derailleur case with all the weapons in it? <gasps> so where'd you run off to on your own? Well... Well, that is... <sighs> nah, you looking mighty suspicious. Pekka suddenly dropped to one knee and started groaning on the spot. Hey, what happened? <sighs> no, no, I'm just not feeling too well. I apologize, but excuse me. What the hell happened to her? What the heck? Excuse me, what was that? Hey. Pekka, it appears the bathroom isn't is inside this old building is currently occupied, so I recommend either the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? <sighs> Seems like it would be a tough path. Oh, she just needed to go to the bathroom, bro. Kind of odd, with cold sweat dripping from her forehead. Pekka wobbled out of, out of the office. What what happened to her? <laughs> hmm, it's kind of hard for me to say it myself. I already feel bad enough for Pekka as it is. Well, what does that mean? Huh? I mean, it, is it cool? She didn't like run away or something. Because right. if she ran away, she's obviously the killer. I'm almost positive. Oh my god, bro, not this. Man, is that really what it is? No, I, I was trying to look at the AC, not whatever she's on. This remote control is for the office air conditioner. I need to freaking move my microphone to the middle of my mouth so y'all can hear me better. Huh? The timer here is set to 11.30 p.m. Wasn't the timer for the air conditioner in the dining hall also set for that time? It can't be a coincidence, right? All right. AC timer has been updated in your handbook. Hit the true bullets menu to review it. All right. What else is in here? Uh, the case. The derailium case. It should contain all the dangerous items Viakia collected. Hey. Maybe we should check inside just to be safe? But it's yep. locked. Viakia has a key to this particular derailium case with him. Check it out. I brought it with me so there's no need to worry. Hey, is it okay to take that key without permission? What? Are, is he gonna ask the corpse? Now, now. 
it's forbidden to tamper with the crime scene, but if we don't, we can't check inside this case, right? <laughs> so I should open it. This guy, he doesn't feel any remorse. See? See, it's open. Damn! What the hell? Forks, kitchen knives, iron skewers, and various tools are crammed inside. <sighs> it's not possible that the killer took anything from here. Because the key to this case was inside inside the case we actually had with him. I guess you're right about that. Alright, let's start the naughty though. Hey, where did Peckle go? She looked pretty pale. Wow. Hmm, if she made it, then I'm sure she's fine. Beyond that, it'd be improper for me to say. Huh? She needed to take a shit, bro, for real. Maybe. Hey, isn't Pekko the killer? Why do you think that? I mean... Well, she wandered off somewhere even though she was supposed to be in the office. When we were looking for Byaki after the blackout, I went to the office right away, but... When I got here, she was well... gone. I shouldn't say this too loudly or else Miss Sonya will yell at me. Hmm. Pekko's probably the one who tripped the circuit breaker and used the blackout to her advantage to kill Byaki. Hey! And don't you think she looks kind of ruthless too? Like an assassin, right? Well, it's not like you look any better. <laughs> Damn. Kazuichi's account has been added to the true bullet section of your handbook. The slander from that dude. Now then. Now then, I guess we're done with the office, don't you think so? We should get going now. I we out of here. Yep. Okay, it looks like you've pretty much finished looking around the old hey. building. So how about we check out Byakia's cottage? Byakia's cottage. Yep. There might be clues there, so... I thought it'd be good to check it out just in case. But I was scared I might encounter some danger if I went there by myself. Well, I don't really mind going there together, but... Aren't you worried about the possibility that I might be that danger? Hey. You mean, am I worried about you being the killer? <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. It's like instead of living with doubt in others, it's so much better to die believing in others. Don't talk like that. We're doing this so we can live, you know? I see. As I thought, you sure are strong. You are definitely the chosen one. Chosen by Hope's Peak Academy. Alright! Then let's get going to Viakia's cottage. Yeah. I don't know why, but every time we talk, I don't really know how I'm supposed to react. Then when I left the old building, there was a strange scene unfolding before me. What the hell? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, they're trying to get the earring. I was, I was wondering. What am I doing, you say? Ha! Now that is truly a foolish question. Bro, I love Chiaki's backpack, bro. The drip. Um, we're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. Under the floor? Why? His earring, bro. Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? How did you know I cannot recover my earring? If it is possible to get under the floor, It'll change our understanding of the murder, I think. Uh. So I thought it was important to check it. She gonna help us out too. I see. Under the floor, huh? I never considered thinking of it like that. What do you mean? See? Come on, think about it. Hey. The carpet I lit up didn't reach the table where we found Vyakia's body, right? Well, oh, someone killed him underneath. Mm. And the dining hall floor had huge gaps between the floorboards. Then is it possible that the killer killed Byakuya by stabbing him from beneath the floor? What the hell? Yep. That's what I thought, so I'm trying to see if we can get under under it from here. That's so smart. Chiaki and Najito about to carry this trial, bro. For real, they about to help us out so much. Mm. I guess it's not possible to get under the floor from outside. The building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there. What? Even so, I couldn't find a way to get under the floor from inside the building either. Do you think there's a possibility that there's a hidden hole somewhere? Wow. No, that's not possible. Are you are you sure? At any rate, it seems like you can't get under the floor from outside the building. That's a relief. Relief? Why? Mm. Because if you could get under the floor from the outside, there'd only be one logical suspect. The only person who didn't come to the party also doesn't have an alibi. Oh, Fiyahiko... Fuyahiko. Yeah, him. I need, to, I need to think of a nickname for him, bro. For real. Uh, Alright, Fuyahiko. What, what if I just call him Fuyu? Fu, fu, Fuyu. So... <laughs> I suspected him too. That's why I was checking to see if it's possible to get on the floor from outside. Well? Speaking of which, not long after I began guarding the entrance, Fuyahiko came here. Oh, he did. Huh? And what happened, Fuyuhiko? Huh? 
Oh, oh, hey, what are you doing here all alone in a place like this? Yep. I'm standing guard so Malakuma doesn't come inside. Huh. <laughs> How diligent of you. Hey, hey. You're not coming to the party? What are you saying? Hell no, not even if you paid me. Parties are stupid. They made me want to puke. You want to come to the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? You. Uh, of course not. I was, I was just going for a damn walk. What, do I have to report to you every time I want to go for a fucking walk? That's wrong. Damn. No, it's not like that, but... I don't I don't like him because he, he kind of a douche, bro, for like no reason, bro. Literally, Chiaki did not like do anything to him and he's acting like this, bro. Hm. Then leave me alone. Hmm. And then he just left. So that happened, but why did he come here? See? He probably wants to be part of the group, but he can't be honest about it. He believes he's different from everyone else. That's why he's always alone. Hey, hey. He's like the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? Persona! Oh my lord. Oh, when did we start talking about video games? <laughs> of course, yeah. You're gonna go back to video games, bro. Next, you're gonna say, I'm kind of sleepy during this investigation. Check his account has been added to the true voice section in your handbook. I see. Even though we don't really know what's going on, <laughs> what he's thinking, I don't think we have any reason to doubt him. I'm glad. That's a relief. I'm glad. You keep saying you're glad, but we have no idea who the killer is. <laughs> well, I guess for now we should we should stick to the plan and head over to Biaki's cottage. Uh -huh! As long as the probability is greater than zero, that will suffice. I have not unleashed even half of my power yet. I will not assertly reclaim the hellhound earring with my own two hands, since he has no intention of investigating. All right, let's let's talk to Shiaki before we go over there. I guess for now I've discovered the building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there. I think. Also, yep. Fuyuhiku came by not long after the party started. All right, she gave us a whole summary, bro. All right, let's check the the restaurant. Well, it's night. It's chilly, chilly night. What a Najito. Hey. What's your reason for coming here? Let's hurry, hurry over to Biaki's cottage. No, nah, there could be clues here. We gotta look in every possible place that we can, bro. For real. Hey. What's your reason for... Bro, there's nothing here? Really? Is there really nothing here? I guess. Yeah. We're going outside, blood. Oh, Fuyuhiko's right there. Let's go talk to him. Where were you during the murder of Byakuya Togami? Oh, okay. There's like walls. I thought I could walk all the way over there. No problem. I guess not. What's up? <gasps> what the hell? Didn't I tell you to leave me alone? That's not happening. Didn't you hear Monokuma's announcement? Of course I did. Apparently is the one who got killed. <laughs> so what? What did you say? Do you think I'm the killer? Think whatever you want. I'm used to being mistru mistrusted. That's not why I'm... Whatever, just tell me what you were doing while everyone else was at the party. <gasps> Checking my alibi, eh? <laughs> well, I don't have one. I was just chilling in my cottage all by myself during that time. The whole time? Because Chiaki said she saw you in front of the old building. Shut up! No nosy bitch. Damn. Jeez. Sure, I went for a little walk and then just by chance I ended up passing by the old building. Were you really going for a walk? Don't tell me you were actually trying to join the party. Don't fuck with me! Why the hell would I do that? It's a coincidence. A coincidence. Alright, I got <laughs> it. Dumbass. Okay. Damn. I did not need to act like that. What's up? All right. Now then, we must head over to Biakia's cottage. If you get lost, check the map and the student handbook. I don't think we'll get lost. Let me check my mail, though. They should have been going for a minute. Oh. Oh, it's just to show that this is ours. All right. That is not what I meant to do. I was not trying to look at the transcript. Map. Which one is Biakia's? Biakia. Where's Biakia's? Oh. Oh, Biaki is right here. Never mind. Oh, he locked it, bro. He said, safe and sound, huh? It's locked. Hey. I guess we need to ask him for help. So Najito took a hey. deep breath. Hey, Monokuma. Did you call me? Yay, did you call me? 
Najito, when did you train Monokuma? Hey. hey, Monokuma, I was wondering if you could do us a favor. There's something we want to investigate. What's this? Hey, who are you talking about? That's just my after image. <laughs> when I get serious, my after image is unleashed. What? I can even play soccer by myself as long as I have this clo <laughs> this cloning technique. Though it'd be boring to play alone. I don't have time for this. Just hurry up and open Byakuya's cottage already. Well... This is for the class trial. It's something we really need. Hmm? For the class trial? This is troubling! Hmm. <laughs> if it's for the class trial, there's no way I can refuse. Now then, there's only one spell that can open these doors. Ba -ba -ba -loose! Wow, <laughs> that actually worked. I'll leave the rest to you! See, I've unlocked the door. Now you can investigate to your heart's content. Why does it open with a magic spell? Oh, Jeez. God. It's probably powered by electricity. At any rate, that performance was a waste of time. <laughs> I see. I guess we should go inside then. You're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. Damn. Bro, is that scholar? Envelope. What's in the envelope? Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student. There's an envelope on the table. Is it a letter someone, someone sent to Byakuya? That's weird. There's no sender. That looks pretty suspicious. Hajime. You should check what's inside. Yeah, you're right. Let's see. Huh? Be careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. Th this is... What the hell? This is... Is this a crime warning? No, it says be careful. It's probably a threatening letter. Be careful. Regardless, who would send something like this for real? Maybe hey. this is why Byakuya suddenly decided to throw a party, huh? The first kill will happen tonight because someone made this threat to Byakuya. He gathered everyone in one area and was extremely cautious about all the dangerous items. Yeah, I guess that does make sense now. He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone can monitor each other. He thought if he did that, nobody would be able to kill anyone. So he believed this crazy letter? What? He couldn't ignore the possibility of this happening, even if it was just a worst case scenario. <laughs> Remember what Byaki kept saying? How he wouldn't let anyone become a victim? He couldn't overlook that slim possibility just to keep his promise? Then why did he keep it a secret if he had just told us? Nope. He probably couldn't. He probably thought that that was also a worst case scenario. Cause yeah, everyone would start panicking. What do you mean? Mm. If everyone knew what was in this letter, whether it's a lie or not, everyone would have likely begun to doubt each other. And at that point, there'd be no turning back. So Byakuya tried to do something about this all by himself without telling anyone. Yep. His strong sense of responsibility is the only explanation I can think of. Anyway, whoever sent Byakuya this letter also killed him, is that what you're saying? Sorry. No, this could be a prank and it might have nothing to do with Byakuya's death at all. Hmm, what was that? He suddenly became really quiet. I see, he doesn't want to believe one of us could be a killer. But still, we've come all this way here and it's the only thing I can think of. The person who wrote the story of murder Byakuya. <sighs> if that's the case, that person completely predicted how Byakuya would react once he received it, right? Th they planned to manipulate Byakuya and kill him right before our eyes in that old building. Damn it, who the hell would do that? For real? Whoever did it, bro. <sighs> uh, I can't wait to see you get executed. Murder threat has been added to the true bullet section of your handbook. Hey. That's probably not much time left until the class trial starts, probably. <laughs> Which reminds me, you asked Mahito for a favor earlier, right? Yeah, I wanted her to find out where everybody was standing just before the blackout. She's probably finished by now, you're coming with me, right? Sorry. Sorry, that's all of you. That's all of you. Huh? I need some time alone, I'd like... I'd like some time to collect my thoughts. I see, I understand. Hey. Also, if you're going back to the old building, you should hear what Mikan has to say as well. I think the results of her autopsy should be ready by Bye now. now. I'll see you later. Well, he helped us as much as he could. He was pretty pale. I wonder if he's okay? But now not the time for me to worry about Najee, so there's not much time left. I better hurry over to the old building. Man, we already done with the investigation? There's no way. There is no way we're almost done with this investigate. Oh, I was I was wondering. Yeah, okay. I was like, we did not come out of Fuyuhiko's room. Oh, Monomi. Stop the monomy. What up, monomy? He's gonna be like, no way, no way somebody died, bro. Let me talk to you. What's good? <laughs> too cruel. This is just too cruel. Oh, yeah, I might as well ask her about the old building's windows. Hey, do you have a sec? I wanna ask you something. 
I don't want to I don't want to help you guys mistrust your friends what the hell it's not like we're doing this because we want to now is not the time to fight about stuff like that more importantly do you know why the old buildings windows are covered by iron plates huh iron plates cover them up so nobody makes the mistakes of going inside since it's dangerous because of the renovation I see the renovation so that's why you cover them up because it's dangerous to go inside danger isn't supposed to exist on this island this isn't how it's supposed to be that reminds me of Junko so much, like whenever she got like sad, the mushrooms. But why did you why did it get like this? It's cruel, too cruel. Just because it's cruel doesn't mean you can just keep crying like that. Crying won't solve anything. We have to do this no matter what, damn it. Oh my god. This is why you only like two feet off the ground. <coughs> Anyways. There's no way we're almost done with this investigation, but Oh! I freaking skipped it! What the what the hell was that loud noise just now? I don't know who said that, so I... Are you serious? I have to go check the room one by one. Is it in the office? No, it's not. Hmm. I mean... Alright, uh, no, you already said this. Maybe... Alright, so maybe it's in the bathroom? I don't know, we didn't check the bathroom. Probably, it's probably in the... <laughs> what the? What the hell was that loud noise just now? It's probably in the... Oh, it's Nekumaru. The bathroom seems to be open. But I don't really need to go right now. There's really no need for me to go inside. Oh, okay, so Neku Nekumaru finally finished this shit. He finally finished shitting. Huh? I feel so lighthearted right now. <laughs> I, Nekumaru, need, I have been reborn. I have no intention of losing anymore. Losing the who? <gasps> I won't lose anyone, not even my past self. That sounds cool and all, but what are you even talking about? Shit. Oh god, he's shit. What? I don't know who was behind it, but someone tried to make a shitty bastard out of me. Some scoundrel who was occupying the bathroom before the party was about to start. Now that you mentioned it, you said something like that shortly after the party started. I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. Sheesh. How do you think? I'd be angered by something like that. You've all underestimated my nerve and patience. Do all and achieve all with one's presence of mind. That is the goal of a true leader. In other words, a leader must never falter in any situation, but always have the presence of one's mind. He says that, but I'm pretty sure he was shaken up by the whole ordeal. Oh, well, best not to go into it. Anyway, so you're saying the bathroom door is shut from before the party started to after the blackout? So what I mean is... And the bathroom was finally unoccupied after Byaki's body was found. That's about how long that lasted. What you said sounds stupid and irrelevant, but I should remember it just this one. Or just in case. It's probably Peko in the bathroom. Lucky? Nekamaru does account has been added to the true book section of your handbook. I Now back into the dining room we go. Or dining hall, my bad. I love the transitions, bro. Uh oh, Chiaki in here now. Oh yeah, Mikan. Did you finish your autopsy? If you'd like, I can tell you a little bit what what I want to say. Did you find out anything? Um, I tried within reason to perform an autopsy on Byakuya's body. Well. And I discovered that there were several puncture wounds around Byakuya's chest and abdominal region. Deep wounds, deep enough to reach his lungs and internal organs. <laughs> Man, whoever was... Whoever was trying to get him was trying to get him, bro. It can be assumed that a very thin, sharp object around 5 millimeters in diameter was used to... Stab him over and over and over again. Which is what I b believe. Hey, are you okay? I'm sorry, talking about it made me sad. No need to push yourself. I mostly got the gist of what you wanted to say. I'm sorry. Still around 5 millimeters in diameter, huh? Isn't that pretty thin? That's as thin as an ice pick or an all. What is that? Mikan's like, autopsy results have been added to the true bullet section of your handbook. Alright, let's start to know how to. That's the hey. most useful right now. Hey, you're here. Where the hell did you wander off to? I wasn't wondering. I was investigating as much as I could. I see. Well, if you weren't slacking off, then I guess it's fine. So, did you find anything? Mm. Yeah, sort of. You don't sound too short. Hey. Well, just take a look at this. Um. Just that you told me, using the two photos I took before the blackout. I tried to pinpoint where everyone was standing. <sighs> My eyes are getting super tired, bro, right now. When I did this, this diagram was the result. 
So this is everyone's standing position before the blackout. Uh, everyone's pretty much in the dining hall. All right, so Teru Teru was in the, we know for sure, uh, Teru Teru was in the kitchen. Peko was off somewhere. I'm assuming she was in the bathroom, right? Chiaki was outside and Fuyuhiko was having a stroll, bruh. So Najito is by the lamp. Hajime is over there. Nekumaru, Sora. Byaki was by his case. But how do you how do you go from where he is now all the way to the thing, bro? For real. Alright, this is like kinda interesting. Um So I know it's not Hajime Najito. It could be Hiyoko. I don't think it's a Buki. Nekumaru needed to take a shit. Sonia and Mahiro were like sh shaking at the most. Gundam lost his earring and he looked pretty like perturbed by it. Kazuichi, he was sitting over there so he tried to hit the wall. Mikan and Byakia and Akane. Akane? She wasn't doing anything. She was just eating most likely. Mikan? She, she seems also kind of shaking about it. Um, Peko was off somewhere. We don't know. Teru Teru? He was also just in the kitchen, so he's chill. And Fuyahiko. And there's no way to get inside without getting past Shiaki. And so I don't think it's Fuyahiko. Um, so it very well could be anybody, bro. My, from what we know, all the people outside, aside from Hu Fuyahiko and Shiaki, because I don't, I don't think it's either one of them. So it's either Peko or Teru Teru. You know, it could be either one of those. I've made this diagram on analyzing those photos, so I'm pretty sure it's accurate. Just as I thought, Byaki was standing a far distance from that table. It's impossible. There's no way he'd be able to move that far during the blackout. Hmm, what's this line extending from the table where Byaki was killed? Um. Oh, it's a desk lamp. I drew the power cord for it just in case. The power cord for the desk lamp? If that cord is extending from the table where Byaki was killed, that means... Hey! So did you find something? Hmm, it's not clear to me yet, hmm. but I guess you're right. I didn't really understand it myself when I was drawing it. I have a feeling that it's either a potential clue or just a waste of labor. No, it wasn't a waste at all. Huh? Hmm? It's not clear to me yet, but there's no mistake that a clue is hidden in here. An extremely important clue. Damn, we're done? Dude, there's no way. I, I feel like this investigation was really short. What the hell? Alrighty, guys! It's finally time! That's right! It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Dude, I'm hyped for this trial, bro. I'm my mama, we're gonna find who killed Byakia. Now then, I shall tell you all the meeting place. Oh yeah, because we're not in like a school building. Where is this, where is this trial room going to be? At the central island of Jabberwock Island, there is a mountain with my adorable face carved into it. Uh, oh, that place. That, my friends, is Monokuma Rock. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. Ooh, secret. <laughs> I'll see you soon. All right, we'll get over there and then I'll end it off. Damn, this this freaking investigation went by so fast. Mountain with a carving of Monokuma's face at the central island? Oh, snap. We didn't even have to do nothing, bruh. Wait, where is it? It's over here, I think. I'm pretty sure it's over here. Have we already level 19, bro? I think I'm gonna try and get to level 20 by the time this uh, trial ends. I'm gonna try my best. Oh, it's right here. Monokuma Rock. Do I level up faster just walking? I don't even know. Monokuma Rock. Damn. Huh? Hey, what the heck is that mountain? When did that get there? Never mind that. How did they even make a mountain shaped like Monokuma? No way. That story, that story might be true after all. There might be an enormous organization involved in all this. You mean what Byakia said before, right? You are right. Byakia, we still needed his knowledge. <laughs> I still can't believe he's dead. <laughs> Byakia, 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 Byakia. What happened to Gundam and Fuyuhiko? Um. 
Now that you mention it, it appears they aren't here yet. I got it! I uh, know, they probably ran away. No way! Oh, hell no. There's no way I'd let them escape, you know? Look, I dragged this one back over here. Don't fuck with me! I'm telling you, let me go! Hey! Hey, no, come if you keep... Come on now! If you keep acting violent, I might just eat you up. Hey! Hey, Fuyahiko, what were you doing all this time? Huh? Nothing. I wasn't really doing anything. I was just chilling in my room when I suddenly heard that fat bastard got killed. Who the fuck cares about that anyway? You. How can you say something so irresponsible? We'll discuss it during the trial. Shut up. Do you understand? We've been doing our best to investigate this murder even though we don't want to just to survive. Oh, wait. My, my hero, that's enough. You too, Fuyuhiko. <laughs> Dumbass. Um. And I guess we're waiting for Gundam. What happened, I, sinner? I am. Damn, he called me a sinner. I'm right here. Did you get your uh, earring? Now then, let us begin. <laughs> oh, he did get his earring. Remember this well. Main character arrives when he intends to. Blood is not the main character. Huh? Hey. Since you noticed it too. <laughs> I love Gundam, bro. If I did, then I'm right. Well now. All right. Now that everyone's all together, let's take a secret entrance to the trial field. <laughs> Please wait a second. What's this? My, my, mon me. Just what are you doing? Nobody asked for you. I gotta get her out of here. I... Wah -wah? Do you actually want to join in? You masochistic mascot. Huh? What do you say? Do you want to taste how powerless you are at the class trial? You're an even bigger masochist than I thought. Special bleeding service. Oh, wow. Well, my big brother dotes on his... Oh, hell no. Nah. On his little sister, I shall allow your special participation. See That's crazy. Ya later. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys, so hurry up. Huh? He told us to come, but how did we get here? There. I don't see any doors or vehicles. What's going on? He mentioned something about a secret entrance, was it? Secret entrance? What the hell? Is it in the rocks? That's the entrance? Roar, what the, something's shaking. This is dangerous, everyone please get down. What the hell? <laughs> something came out. No way. Could it be, is he telling us to enter? What? Even his, his devils are freaking nervous too. Such a suspicious aura, even crimson steel elephant make us, he is trembling with fear. The fatty. That's so totally suspicious. Hey, 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 hey! Forgive me, seriously, just forgive me already. Uh, <laughs> hey, why don't we just stop here? I mean, none of this is real anyway. Like, not even remotely. No way, no way, no way! There's no way, there's no way we'll find the killer. There's just no way we'll find the killer. Stupid! Complaining won't get us anywhere. If you're really a man, then man up. Then man up for God's sake. We've come this far, we have no choice but to keep moving forward. You're right, there's nowhere for us to run. We need to do it. Mm. If that's everyone's decision, I'll just follow you guys. Yep. This were a video game, it'd be a... It'd have a very high difficulty level. Let's do our best to clear the game. Shaking with fear and nervousness, I hesitantly lifted my feet and stepped onto the escalator. I won't think anymore. If I think, I'll run away. All I could do was stare upward intensely as the escalator carried me. When each of us entered Monokuma Rock. The hell? Oh! Huh? We... We in the elevator, bro. Alright, take note of where everyone is standing, bro. Because they're all gonna be gone pretty soon. Oh, there's nobody, like... Slouching or anything. Because I'm pretty sure... Oh, not nah, Gundam is... Nah, because Mondo, Mondo really, really went ahead and, uh, what is it called? He was literally, like, leaning against the wall. I guess Gundam kinda is. You always gonna have that one character do it something. <sighs> oh, I'm tired. This is an elevator. I see, this entire rock is an elevator. <sighs> Once again, Monokuma is doing what he pleases. However, If he's gone this far and made something like this, I don't think he's playing around. Even so, we're... We're going pretty deep. I I think this is where I'm gonna end it off, high key. 
All right, I'll end it in the elevator because I didn't realize we were going to be in the elevator. I thought we were going to get like a, a room before we got into the elevator. So I'll end it off here. So yeah, we're going to find out who killed Biakia, bro, for real. And the next one. But until next time, ace out. Hold up, let me, let me, uh, uh, let me, let me save. Oh yeah, we gotta, we gotta take care of our pet. Hold up. I for real said, oh yeah, we gotta find who killed him. And then we're like, oh, but the pet, <laughs> the worm, we gotta take care of it. Anyways, until next time. Uh, hold up, let me save, bro. I almost forgot to save. Until next time. Ace out.